Good morning, guys. So I'm starting out today's What I Eat in a Day bright and early. It is 5.47 in the morning and I'm taking a walk. And today I'm actually taking a long walk because I am going to walk to Fry's, which is about 25 minutes or so each way for me and get a coffee. It's kind of my reward when I take my early morning walk. So we are out, we're walking. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. I am really sore from my workout. I mean, miserably sore. So my coach decided to have me take a couple days off in between. So I thought since I wasn't going to the gym today, like I had kind of originally planned that I would take a super, super long walk. And I'm actually wearing some brand new shorts that I picked up from Fabletics. These are kind of a dupe for the Buff Bunny shorts. There's not that much of a price difference between the two, but I'm sure in here of the shorts and my cute little tank top. My tank top is from Buff Bunny, you guys know. I love Buff Bunny. So I have this cute little outfit on, little shoes that match, and I am living my best life taking my early morning walks. I actually really enjoy them. Then we're going to go home, get ready for the day. I have some packages coming, so we'll have some hauls in today's video. I actually ordered my dogs the Bark Box, and it's coming today. So I have so many things to share with you guys. So if you're excited for what I eat today, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday and I upload five days a week. I got the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer macros and calories personalized to you and one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as links, discounts to my favorite things and head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So I'm going to turn on some YouTube and let's go on an extra long morning walk. I'm sick of lying here all alone and nearly sleep as I night. I'm on this. It's boring. One million thousand demons around in me. You pick enough fight. It's toxic. You are the best I ever Another really cool thing about the community that we live in, because it is very much a family friendly community, we have this little safari trail and you can see that there are I guess concrete if that's what they are oh bronze they're bronze animals for the kids to walk through and kind of feel like they're in a safari When we lived in Washington, we had them in our yard every day, and they're kind of an anomaly here. I mean, we have a bronze one on our safari trip. The good times, the good days, the good days, but good wasn't the only perspective of all the days that we had. We lost it.
my walk. I actually just finished getting ready for today. I'm wearing those super cute dollar earrings that I hauled in my Walmart try-on haul just a couple days ago. I'll link that video down in the description box for you if you haven't seen it. I have finished my coffee and now I'm ready for some breakfast. I'm pretty hungry, but I'm going to have a little bit lighter breakfast because I did have that protein shake in my coffee, which gave me 20 grams of protein to start my day. So I think we're going to have a yogurt with some of the new protein granola that I picked up. So let's go ahead and head into the kitchen and have some breakfast. I ended up doing 30 grams of, this is the Nature Valley Honey and Oat Protein Granola. It's really, really good. And you get a little bit of protein. I mean, you need to eat the whole serving size, which I think is a quarter of a cup to get in all the protein, but it is that nice crunch to your yogurt. And you do get a little bit of extra protein. So I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. My Nutrition order is here. I haven't ordered from Nutrition for a long time and they had some really good new items on their website. And of course, this is where I order my Fiber Gourmet Pasta because they have all the shapes and it really is the cheapest for the pasta. So let's dig into my order. So of course I stocked up on my Fiber Gourmet Pasta. I love that they've changed their packaging and now it comes in a box. A little bit about this pasta, I still get questions even though I share this pretty regularly. This pasta is only three points per serving instead of six points per serving. It also has 48% less calories, 110 calories per serving instead of 220 or 230. It has 24 grams of fiber, 17 net carbs and seven grams of protein per serving and it is a two ounce dry serving so your traditional pasta serving just way less calories points and actually contains good ingredients and some protein and fiber so I was completely out of fiber gourmet and kind of panicked so I really stocked up so I grabbed two boxes of the elbows three boxes of the light rotini I really do like that they're in boxes now instead of bags much easier for storage two boxes of the the penne and three packages of their light spaghetti. I also picked up some electrolyte water enhancers. I don't do a lot of water enhancers unless I'm trying to get in some electrolytes. It's really hot where I live, so it's nice to have an option to get in those extra electrolytes, and I like to drink it after I complete my workout. So this is from the brand 4C. This is their variety pack. There's 24 packets. We have lemonade, fruit punch, cranberry punch, pomegranate and wild berry pomegranate. These are pretty pricey at Sprouts and Whole Foods and this was a really good deal on Nutrition. This was a new item for me and it really intrigued me when I saw it on their website. This is the Flock Chicken Skin Chips in salt and vinegar. 190 calories for the entire bag, one gram of carbs, zero grams of sugar, 13 grams of protein. And if these are anything like the wild chips, they taste just like chips, except they're made out of chicken and you get lots and lots of protein. So I'm really excited to try those. Fiber Gourmet had some new products as well, at least new to me. I've never seen these before. And of course I was so excited. These are the Fiber Gourmet Biscotti Bites. This one is in ginger spice. These have 41 less calories than traditional biscotti. So only 80 calories a serving, 10 grams of fiber, which is almost half your daily recommended intake and only 13 net carbs, only 80 calories per serving. So I picked up the ginger spice and then I also went ahead and grabbed the original flavor too. I was just really excited that there was a healthier biscotti option. I am super, super excited for this. I've never seen this in my local grocery store. Let me know if you guys live in an area where you can find this in the grocery store because 
It was pretty pricey on the Nutrition website. I'm definitely throwing this in the freezer to keep it for a while, but this is the Aunt Millie's Live Carb Smart Bread. You guys know that I kind of watch my carbs about 100 grams a day or less, 40 calories per slice. So it's a much better option than Sara Lee. It has better ingredients, it's lower in carbs. So I'm really excited about it. I did go ahead and pick up the five seed. They had white and whole wheat, but keep it in your freezer because She's expensive and that way she'll last a little bit longer. I picked up some Chalk Zero products. I have heard so many great things about this brand. These are the Peppermint White Chocolate Squares. These are limited edition or so it says on the packaging. I'm wondering if they were left over maybe from the holiday, but I'm really excited to have these. These are 60 calories per serving. A serving is one piece. And these are the same size little chocolate squares as the Ghirardelli, but way less points and calories. I love the Coco Mel's brand. I usually just buy the regular one, but I saw that they had sugar-free and these are coconut milk caramel. So these are actually made out of coconut milk and they are so good. I highly, highly recommend the regular ones, just full sugar ones, but I'm excited to try the sugar-free. I also grabbed some Zero Sugar York Peppermint Patties. This is my all-time favorite candy and I've had these before, the zero sugar ones, and they're really good. These are just the small little York peppermint patties, the mini ones. I used to buy these all the time and I haven't for so long and the I love these. These are definitely absolutely incredible. These are the Sweet Nothings brand and I got the Caramel Pecan clusters. Two grams of fat, two grams of sugar, and gluten-free. They are only 35 calories per piece. So they're individual, individually wrapped. So here's the size of them. They have about 10 different flavors and they are so good. I mean, every single one of them are delicious. I did just pick up one box because I do kind of have a hard time controlling myself around them. So I figured that I would start with one box and see how I do. Another Chalk Zero product that I was really excited to see on their website are the white chocolate peanut butter cups. So this is a great option for Reese's peanut butter dupe. And again, 160 calories for two of them, so only 80 calories a piece. I will probably just have one for dessert. I'm really excited for these. This is another product that I've heard really good things about. I've watched a few nutrition YouTubers who talk about these, and these are the Quest Frosted Cookies. Each cookie has five grams of protein and one net carb and less than one gram of sugar. They're only 90 calories per cookie, and I love the Quest Birthday Cake Bar, so I'm hoping that this is similar to that. I have heard really, really good things about these so I'll make sure I share them with you guys in a favorites video or in a what I eat in a day so I can give you my review and that is everything that I picked up from Nutrition. all of the chocolate products including the quest cookies were with an ice pack back in one of these refrigerated bags so everything is solid state and it's 103 here today so that is everything that I picked up I cannot recommend the fiber gourmet pasta more and I'm really excited to try out all of my new finds. I have been working in my office, no lie, for about three hours and I'm hungry. It is time for some lunch. I've been hemming and hawing about what I wanna make for lunch today. And if you remember when we first moved here, my very first trip to Costco after we moved here, I bought those Just Bear chicken nuggets based on a lot of you guys telling me how good those chicken nuggets are. And we haven't even tried them. So I think what I'm gonna do for lunch today is some of the chicken nuggets. I may have a salad. A salad sounds really good. It's going to be 103 degrees today. So a nice cold crisp salad sounds really good. I'll dip my nuggets in maybe some barbecue sauce. It just sounds really good. So what I'm going to do is throw the Just Bear chicken nuggets into my air fryer. I actually just got a new air fryer and I've been loving it. It is super, super easy to use and it is so quiet. I thought my old air fryer was quiet, but this air fryer is literally silent. You can hardly hear it at all, which I actually really appreciate. It is from the brand All Tenic, and this is their smart air fryer. The model that I picked up is the model K10. This air fryer, like I said, is really easy to use. It has a really big basket, which I also appreciate because I can fry up 
multiple things in the basket at once or if you are someone that has a large family or needs to air fry a lot at once the big basket is really really beneficial it's super easy to use you simply turn it on select what you're air frying you can adjust both the temperature and the time so that it better suits you all you do is press the little button on the basket to open it up shake it up throughout the cooking process and it's just really simple to use and super quiet there are a couple other features about this air fryer that are unique and different. First, you can download the Altenic app and you can actually control your air fryer from your phone, from the app. And even cooler than that, you can control your air fryer by voice. If you have Google Home or Alexa, you can turn on and off your air fryer, adjust the time, adjust the temperature, all from your Google Home or Alexa with your voice or from the app. The app is available on both Android and iPhone. It is free, so you can control, again, your air fryer from your app. Maybe you're outside or in another room and you want to adjust the air fryer, you can do it from the app. Super, super cool features. I think it's beautiful. I love that it's black with that pretty rose gold handle. I find that it cooks the food really evenly and gets it nice and crispy, which if we're using an air fryer, we are going for that crispy fried food vibe, and this Altonic air fryer gives that to you. It is a 5.3 quart smart app control, one touch screen with 11 presets and a hundred chef created online recipes and cookbook also included. And again, it does work with Alexa, Google Assistant. It has a preheat option and a shake reminder as well as a keep warm function. It really is the best air fryer that I've ever use. It is available on their Amazon store and they also have a coupon right now for $20 off. I'll make sure that I link it down below for you. You can pick it up right off of Amazon, $20 off, free shipping. Highly recommend. It is such a great air fryer. It would make a great gift. We have Father's Day coming up. It would be such a perfect gift for that. So it is after lunch, about an hour or so after I just finished eating my lunch and I need to run a few errands today. I need to stop at the UPS store and mail back some shoes that I bought. They are so incredibly cute, but I didn't read and they run small and they don't fit. So I actually just ordered a size up from my normal size. So they should be here and then I'll share them with you. And then I need to run to Target to buy some canned dog food. The dogs take all their medication in canned food. And I was going to go to the post office, but I'm filming this video on Monday, Memorial Day. So it's closed. And then depending on how far Kirkland's is from Target, I may go there. You guys are telling me you love Kirkland's and I definitely have to check it out. And if I remember right, I think the Target and Kirkland's are pretty close to each other in Tucson. And then I think since we're out, we'll go to Dunkin' and get a coffee. So I brought an afternoon snack with me. I brought one of my P3 protein snacks. This is the Turkey Colby Jack and Almonds. I love this. So this is going to be my afternoon out and about snack along with the coffee we'll pick up. And then I did also bring my water with electrolyte. Of course, my first stop, I just have to go through the makeup and the skincare section just to see what's new. How good of a deal is this? Everything is $3 or under, and look at these for a dollar. So cute. You know I have to stop by the clearance section in the clothing area. little trunk target haul. I did get some of the natural nubs for the dogs. Palmer loves these. They have these really cute little bowls for three bucks for two. So I picked up the orange stripe and the yellow stripe. I did go ahead and get some of the Hello toothpaste. I really like this toothpaste. And then I grabbed this sweatshirt. You guys, this is so cute. It has leopard print on the bottom and then kind of this waffle at the top. It was on clearance for $15. Lots of canned dog food, actually 12 cans of food. And then I grabbed this super cute kind of washed, whitewashed. What was those, what were those jeans called in the 90s? That's what this reminds me of. It's a size large and it was on clearance for 10 bucks. It's a workout tank. So I was just actually looking at my Target receipt. I just got in the car. You guys, that sweatshirt was $8.99. Super, super cute. And then $10.50 for the Wild Fable tank top. The top, that sweatshirt is the Knox 
Rose brand. So everything was 68 bucks, which is not bad at all. I'm pretty sure that there's a Kirkland's in this same little shopping area, and you guys told me to go there. So I think since we have some time, I'm going to run there and then swing through Duncan and get my second coffee of the day. I could use a second coffee. So I'm driving around. I mean, I have been for the last five plus minutes looking for the Kirkland's because I see it on the sign at the road, but I do not see a Kirkland. So I just actually Googled it, you know, hey Siri, navigate me to Kirkland's and every single Kirkland's in Tucson is closed. So that makes sense why I don't see it in the strip mall area. That is so bizarre. If you live in the Tucson area, let me know, is it true that they're all closed? Hey Siri. Navigate me to Dunkin' Donuts. Girl needs a coffee. One option I found is Dunkin' on W. Valencia yes. Road. Yes. Can I have a medium iced coffee with sugar-free toasted almond and light on the cream, please? I'll have some extra ice. This is hitting the spot. So my dog's bark box came. I actually ended up signing them up for the BarkBox subscription. Palmer loves toys and they all love treats. So this is actually the Boops and Scoops Cones and Shakes box. This is for, I believe the month of May. Yes, the month of May. So let me show you what's in the bark box. I'll link it down below if you're interested in signing up for it for your dog and then we'll give them some of the treats and some of the toys in here and see what they think. So the first one is this super cute ice cream cone. This is the Choco Lick L-I-C-K Chip Cone of Shame. This is super cute. It does have a squeaky ball and that kind of crunchy stuff. Palmer's actually right here waiting. So let's quickly show the toys so we can give him one. And then we have the Hoko Doggo, which is like the Choco Taco that they sell at like Taco Time and the, the, some of those Mexican restaurants. It even has the Chutrition facts on the back. So that's really cute. It also has a squeaky. And then we have two bags of treats. You can hear Palmer whining. We have the Clucky Jerky Bars in chicken. And then the Clucky Yummies also in chicken. And then you always get some sort of chew or bone in the box. I remember that from the last time they had this. So this is the Chew Stick Grain Free Beef Recipe from the Pet Gourmet. And then there's a little thing on how to bark box and then lots of information. I think you can actually order some of the other toys that come in some of the other boxes. So let's go ahead and give Palmer a toy so that we can see if he likes it. I mean, should we do the Choco Doggo or should we do the ice cream cone for Palmer? Choco. Okay, so Troy wants to do the Choco Doggo. So let's see what Palmer thinks of it. So here's the Choco Doggo. <gasps> do you see it? <gasps> oh yeah, there you go, buddy. You got a new baby. Palmer. Oh yay. Show mommy, show mommy your baby. Oh, Diesel, you wanna see it? Do you guys want a treat from your bark box? So these are the little chicken crunchy bites. All right, are you ready? For you, for you, and for you. Get your baby, get your new baby. You gonna squeak it? Let's squeak it, Palmer. Oh, where's your baby? Get your baby. For dinner tonight, I am making ham and pineapple rice. I'm really excited for this. It is a one pot meal, so it's great for busy weeknights or weekends. Minimal ingredients, really affordable and easy to make. So let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, a can of pineapple tidbits, chicken broth, salt and pepper, rice of your choice. We're just using jasmine rice green onions and diced ham. So to get started on our rice, like I mentioned, it's all done in one pot. So you're going to want a large pot or a large skillet. First, we're going to add one half of a cup of the pineapple juice. I just poured it from the actual can of pineapple. Now we're going to add the rest of the can. One and a half cans of chicken broth. The package of diced ham or two cups of diced ham about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. Lastly, add some salt, and we're going to get this on the stove top. We're going to allow it to come to a boil over medium heat. Once this comes to a boil, we're going to add in one cup of rice and some pepper, 
Allow it to boil over medium low heat for 10 minutes. After it's been simmering, boiling for about 10 minutes, we are going to pop the lid on it, reduce the heat just a little bit more, and let it cook for another 10-ish minutes or until the rice is cooked through. So the rice is done. I just checked it, and the rice is nice and fluffy and cooked all the way through. So go ahead and turn your heat off. And then we, I diced up two green onions. I'm going to add those. Stir those in and that's it. Dinner is ready. It is super, super simple. So let me go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is dinner. This looks so good. We have rice with lots of protein with the ham and pineapple. The flavor is really good. It definitely gives me fried rice vibes. So I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories here on the screen for you. So I wanted to share with you my favorite dessert lately. For the last probably week and a half, I've been eating this every night. I know it's quite simple, but it's really been a favorite. So what I do is I go ahead and have a couple of different kinds of fruit. Right now I'm having strawberries and I have a few mandarin oranges left. And then I like to stir in two to three, maybe four tablespoons of light whipped topping. And it's kind of like this fruity ice cream. I love it when the whipped topping is frozen and I just plop it on top of the fruit. It is such a good dessert and it's healthy. You're getting in some fiber from the fruit. Low point, low calorie. I'll go ahead and pop a picture here on the screen of what my finished little fruit dessert looks like, but that's going to be tonight's dessert. Thank you for joining me for another What I Eat in a Day on WW. We had such a good day today, lots of hauls. The dogs really loved their bark box. We got in our exercise, lots of work today. I finished a lot of work that I needed to get done today, including sending out my meal plan for the month of June. It was just a really good, relaxing, but productive day. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday and I upload five videos a week. So make sure your bell's turned on so you get notified when all of my videos go live. I will link everything I talked about in today's video down in the description box for you, along with nutrition coaching, where I have personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to use me as accountability and talk to me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And lastly, don't forget to join us over on Facebook. You can keep up with me day to day there, and we'd love to have you. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye!